my name is Deborah St. Louis and I am the CEO of Fashion's Finest. Fashion's Finest started in 2009 and we launched as a magazine, an online magazine. Um, from there we realised, we were already working in the creative industry, but we realised that there were a lot of designers that we were in connection with that didn't have a platform to actually showcase their collections. We contact press, mainstream press, you know, magazines, bloggers, buyers, um, people and invite them down to the show really and it, I think it helps the designers then to be able to connect with those people who if they try to do it themselves they would probably find it very difficult. Uh, my name is Shola Yabade, also known as Mr Mahogany and I'm the creative director for Fashion's Finest London Fashion Week show. Well primarily my job is to produce the show so I have to make sure that the models do what they have to do, make sure that the designers know exactly how it's going to work, make sure the models go out on time. I also spend a lot of time working on the technical side of things, making sure that the stage looks right, the music flows the lights look good, you know, making sure their hair and the makeup team do what they got to do and make sure everybody does it on time, which is the crucial thing. If shows are late, then I'm to blame. Well, I'm not always my fault, but I get all the blame for everything. So I just need to make sure that the whole show runs smoothly, that whatever crazy stuff is going on backstage, and there's always crazy stuff going on backstage, people at front of house that come to watch the show, that they never see that. For each of the shows, we have seating for about 250 people. I mean, the last show that we had, I think we had at least another 100 or so people standing as well. And I know that the next show is going to be absolutely crazy. I mean, as in terms of it being a big show, we, we use something like about 40 models. Um, we have a makeup and hair team, which is about 50, 60 people. We've got dressers, we've got stylists, um, we've got runners, we've got front of house staff, which must be about another... 20 odd people as well so in total we have a team between everybody of about 100 odd 100 plus people uh, my name is Carla Mujica Barquieri and I'm a head of makeup I'm a makeup artist by profession well I work for a, a company called Academy of Freelance Makeup AFM and they provide the students to work backstage and they trained uh, all the students they are going to be makeup artists and they have done the course and they have finished and they come here and uh, kind of gain experience. Uh, well, basically, one of the challenging things that they, um, they're learning here is to work quickly and efficiently. So sometimes uh, they, um, they produce looks, but it takes them too long. And it's only when they are in the real world and they experience shows like this that they realize that it's important not just to do it quickly, but to do it well. I love Fashion Finance because there are so many creative designers that come here and they showcase the looks. And so you literally you go from one look to another and it's amazing to see the creativity and how they put it together. The amount of work that goes backstage and how it all comes in one big show is, is incredible. I really admire what they do. My name is Helen Mullins. I'm CEO of Hell of a Girl, designer brand. I'm the designer, the pattern cutter. I curate, create and make the brand all for myself. What I find most interesting about Fashion Finest is it makes Fashion Week more accessible to designers. So, for example, up-and-coming designers are given a platform where they can show at a really, really well-run event um, and interest the fashion packed and not be so much the top brands. My name is Gladys Kapinga. I came from Paris. My brand is Glad Sugar. So I'm doing lingerie and bikini with uh, African print. It's my first time for Fashion Finance. Yeah, it's my first fashion big fashion show in London. I done, I think, uh, last year, but it was something small. That one is more bigger. So this collection is, is like um, African glams. I think like it's not a lot of people they know African print. Do in Africa you are like a, a nice material, very nice, very rich material. So it's not a lot of people they use it. So that's why it's just to try to mix like African print and then like lycra or another material or leather or something, you know. Well, at the moment, Fashion's Finest is the second largest off-schedule show during London Fashion Week. And of course, our ambition is to become the first and biggest off-schedule show during London Fashion Week. And we've been doing it now for about four years, four or five years. And we're getting there, bearing in mind that 
most people can only watch the official shows if you are trade or you are involved in the industry or you're specifically invited. We open up our shows to the public, so people are getting a chance to get a feel of London Fashion Week, which they would never have normally have had that chance, and they're just loving it.